So one of the first things you might notice when you play this map is that right as you start, you have an instant shot <laughs> right over to the other side there. So let's start by adding just a simple wall or maybe something a little more interesting. You can actually see through, but it's going to be pretty hard to shoot through upon the start, guarding our buy zone. And then we also have, you know, the top of our turrets here in this empty space, kind of high ceilings. We might be able to make something, kind of create an area up here which people could use to get a little bit of a height advantage on the other players. All right, first things first. Let's create just a quick wall between our turrets here. Zoom in to the front view. And just check out how crowded it's getting with all our entities and our brushes and different props and stuff. It's going to start getting pretty difficult to add more and more geometry and just have layers and layers of lines that start looking like nothing. So we're going to go back to our viz groups, how they can help us build. So we'll create with the block tool a block in our top view. Let's see, we're getting a little turned around. Over here with our terrorists, block tool. Zoom in, shrink the grid slightly. Oh, we're pretty small already. Maybe go to like eight. In here, shift to Z, make this bigger view. Let's just add a couple pillars, 24 by 24. And we'll place those with small gaps. So there's still something you can see through, but it's going to be harder to shoot throughout. Okay, so we'll make sure in our front or our side view. These guys go just to the top of our pillar. Looks like it's good. Enter. I change the texture back to our metal. With our rusted metal. Hit apply. Left top. All right, let's just clone a couple of these guys really quick. Might be easier to select it in the 3D view. Drag him wrong. Be too much of a gap there on the side, so let's just drag without shift, get it as close as we can. Still have these areas on the side. Do another guy and another guy. So instead of two here, just go ahead and stretch this guy out so there's a one unit gap on either side. So, right as you come in here, little trickier to fire still might not be tricky enough so we can lower our grid size make that even a little trickier to fire through at least in the running shot now in our front view here it's, we're really cluttered so let's select the objects we're working with control click you can see them there but there's just this mess of lines we're going to go back to viz groups. What we're going to do is we're going to hide the unselected objects. And it's going to ask us what viz group we'd like to put these unselected objects into. Now we have 49 objects, which is a useful way to count those up, but it's not a very useful viz group name. So let's just name the rest of our world, other than these three new walls, core underscore level. Okay? And everything's disappeared except for the items we had selected. In our viz groups, we could click the checkbox on our core level, and it'll appear right back. Now, this grouping might not make the most sense, so what we can do, we can click our turrets, Alt Enter to bring up their properties, and their combined properties pop up with the viz groups dialog box. And we can simply take these objects out of our core level, hit apply. Now when we turn off our core level, they remain. And we can easily keep them selected. Select our new metal walls. Click the hide selected. And place them in perhaps a turret underscore one viz group. Do turret two on the other side there. And now we can easily turn on or off objects we're working with. We'll select our three walls. Go back. Quickly clone by holding shift as we let go. I'll just drag it over, zoom in, we'll place this guy right where we placed the other one. Actually, it might be a little better positioning than the last time there, but it gives a little 
a little more space on the other side of the turrets. Kind of interesting. So maybe we like that better. Let's extend this guy a little bit. Or move him one. Extend the center. Keep to our lovely symmetry. Now let's go back. Yeah, let's just move this guy the one or two units over that the other one was at. Over. Okay. Something like that. Pretty darn good. This guy might have been the one we moved over and extended out. Just a hair. All right. So now what we have, if you kind of come up, is something that's more and more looking like a foundation for maybe a second story. Maybe we don't want to fill it completely. But maybe we want to create some kind of planks or walkway to get to this central station where we can kind of pop some shots off. We're an open target, but maybe the high ground is worth it. So let's create a few more brushes to create some ramps between these guys. Brush tool. Probably best to stay with our block, but you can mess around with some of the other primitive shapes. And I'm just going to create a block, nice and thin, only a few units tall. Remember, 18 is the highest someone can walk over, so 8 is easy to do so. Right click, create object. We have our plank going straight across. I want to do something a little more interesting, so. Selection tool, we'll just bump it up a little bit. 40, yeah, sure, 48 units. Rotate, clicking again. Let's just place this guy connecting our turrets center portions there. Nothing super fancy, but we can shift drag the clone tools transform we're going to want to rotate it around this way 180 degrees we'll drag this guy to match now we just need to eliminate the overlap here Let's do so. So let's do so by using either our clipping or a vertex tool. Select clipping tool. And we're just going to cut right down where they're intersecting here. Zoom in. Shrink our grid right along that line. So move them up and move the other point up. Click it until only the white part, which we want, as the outside remains. Enter. Clip him off. Do the same to our other. Clip him right down that same line. We want the white to be the remaining section. Enter. And we got our platforms out to our center turret. And if you want to go across, you can careful step right over.